Hello everybody and welcome back to Nuclear Throne Ultra Mod. We are back again, jumping in as eyes and just seeing what we can get done. I do want to check his skins really quick and see if there's any other ones. There is some more unlockable ones, but we don't have any right now. We're just going to jump right in and honestly, my experience with this mod so far and on top of that, the experience of what your guys' reception to this has been is incredible. Thank you so much. A lot of you are probably new here. A lot of you are probably from the older Nuclear Throne series. But thank you for checking this out. I'm really enjoying myself with Ultra Mod. And I will be continuing to play it for uh, quite some time, I think. I think uh, this is definitely a, a series that I feel I can continue for a while. Especially considering... Um, I have received... Ooh, that's homing. I'd rather get another weapon first before we attach that. I've received a beta version of the newest update for Ultramod, which I believe is update 25. Um, I'm currently using that version as we play here. I don't actually know any of the changes that are in this version, but if the developer would wish to, they can list some of those changes in the... Um, how would homing even work with this? Um... If the developer wishes to, they I know that they do watch these videos. They can list the changes below for anyone that is curious. Uh, let's try it out on this, I guess. See if Herming's worth it. I don't think it will be, right? I don't think Herming would do anything on this, but we've not got any other weapon to attach it to right now, so why the hell not? Um, and here we get our first Mew. Honestly, because we just picked up a laser weapon, I think getting laser brain could be pretty nice. Yeah, unfortunately, it doesn't look like uh, we're getting much of anything out of the homing here. Oh, big bandit just spawned right next to me. Or reverse bandit, negative bandit, however you want to call him. I really like these new indicators and things that we've got going on here. Um, these new icons. I don't exactly know if they're new to this update that we're currently playing or just new to Ultramod in general, but they seem real good. They, they, they look very, very nice. Now, we do need to use our... Um, our power a little more. I tend to, by the way, for any of you that are new to my channel and my Nuclear Throne series, I do have quite a lot of hours in Nuclear Throne. I have a couple of hundred, actually. Um, but, no, I think I just gave away my weapon. Whoopsie. Um, everything that deals damage deals one less. I'm just going to go for Glass Cannon. Uh, yeah, I think I just gave away my weapon. Um, yeah, for those of you that don't know, I, I've got like a good hundred or so hours in this game. Maybe a little more. I think it's like 170 or so. I played this game a lot. But I do something that annoys people a lot. I very, very rarely use my powers on the characters I play as. Even characters like Crystal. I don't know what it is. I just, it's, it's not conducive to me. Normally, I don't find it all that useful. And I, I tend not to use them that much. And it usually gets me in some bother. And I'm sure it'll um, bother some of you that are watching that I'm not using my powers when I maybe should be. I do apologize for that, but it's going to be something that you might have to just deal with in certain aspects. Because it's, uh, it's a problem I struggle with quite a lot. Um, eyes isn't as bad. Eyes, eyes' power is actually pretty useful. Because uh, I think it doesn't it like deflect enemy bullets somewhat as well. I really want to get um, some herming with... Oh, damn. Okay, so those guys' little segues uh, explode, and I accidentally quit the main menu there. One second. Yeah, that was uh, <laughs> a little tricky there, but we'll, we'll we'll carry on forward. Oh, are we playing as melting now? That That is not what I intended to do. Um, enter for main menu. Melting's tomorrow's episode. It's all about eyes today. All about eyes. Melting's going to be a hell of a character. My god, with all the new changes, all the differences... It's going to take me a good while to get used to it. One thing I don't know about uh, with with Ultramod, I don't know if it affects the, the generation of levels at all, because I feel like the way this level's laid out is very different to how Vanilla would normally do it. It might just be that it's, like, quite a lucky generation. Bouncer Revolver. That sounds good. I wonder how powerful it is. Ooh, we got Eagle Eyes, which, if you remember correctly, is incredible now. Small aim assist. See content of weapon chest. See further. Show weapon tier. Show damage indicators. Yeah, really, really good. I really like... Okay, so this is, this is decent. I really like the being able to see the damage indicators thing. It's it's quite nice. It gives me a, a really good idea of when I pick up a new weapon as to, like, how good it actually is. Because, like, when, you, when you're playing something like Ultra Mod, or just modded Nuclear Thunder in general, some, some weapons are immediately obvious how powerful they are, but others, they've maybe got a gimmick or something unique or something you don't quite understand. Um... 
that makes it a little bit harder to so sort of really identify if they're worth using. I think I think bullet poppers maybe not. Um, I think with this it's going to be a lot better off. Ooh, I will take the screwdriver. However, we'll try and unlock YV. Beautiful. Of course, we have a lot of custom characters to get through eventually as well. It's interesting to see the weapons tiers as well. I didn't realize that weapons had like defined tiers like that. Six damage a swing here. There you go, beautiful. This is really nice. I wonder if the slight aim assist helps much with um helps much at all with a bouncer weapon. Anything else over here? Nope, let's carry on going. I probably do want to swap out this bouncer weapon pretty early on. Um I think Scary of Face is gonna be pretty good for us here. I like the additional um, information and details you get on the mutations in Ultra Mod, by the way. Actually getting to see Scary of Face's specific damage numbers. Oh, and poison dispersing quicker. There's so many quality of life changes in this mod that I am so very happy to see. So very happy to see. It's beautiful. Ooh, the Doom Pistol. I'm going to imagine it's explosive. It very much is. Uh, but that's good because it means we can go to Pizza Sewers. Which, unfortunately, ow, um, won't be quite the same as when used to because normally I am used to the... Um, do you know what? The cracking one probably a little better. I'm used to the Pizza Sewers from... The, uh, the other mods that I use, I don't remember the exact name of the mod now, but I think it's uh, Territorial Expansion adds um, some new pizza sewers that are really nice. What the hell's this? The Morpho Gun. The hell? Okay, so we won't go pizza sewers this time around because it's covered it, unfortunately. I don't know what the hell this gun's about. Uh, we got Rage. Each kill increases your rate of fire. I love this. I think it's so good. I'm going to take it. I'm intrigued by this weapon, Morphogun. Is it literally going to morph enemies into other enemies? I'm sort of waiting on it to see if it... Yep, yeah, it morphs them into sheep. That's a lot of sheepies. I don't know if the sheep do much for us, but I'm happy to have them. We can certainly kill them. Ow. Good. Where's our car? I've not been looking for it so far. I hope I haven't destroyed it again, because last time I did destroy it. I never really looked for it when I should. <laughs> We've also got a uh, double laser pistol. I like the idea of that. I'm trying to just pick up and test out weapons as and when I find them here. I think I did blow it up, didn't I? There's two explosions here, so I'm going to assume I did. Oh, Lord. Why am I the way that I am? Yep, I blew it up. <laughs> Every time. I just forget... I very rarely go to that floor, so it's it's very, very easy to forget about. Um, let's carry on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I really like the double the double laser pistol. It gives the laser pistol a little bit more use. Cool. And we go in. Oh my god, there's quite the cornucopia down there of enemies. I, w I don't know. Can you really call enemies a cornucopia? Normally, cornucopia is rewards, right? I don't want to leave yet. The Kraken Yo-Yo. The hell? Whoa, this is awesome. Okay, I don't know what, what floor this is, but I'm interested. Wait, this is a throne room? Oh, is it because we unlocked the throne area? It might well be. It just takes us straight to the throne. Love how the thrones look. Oh, wait. Okay. Hmm. Absurd amount of enemies, almost no rads. Remove your secondary weapon when you go through a portal. More chests, slightly more weapon drops. You know what? That sounds interesting. Because at the minute, we don't really have a good second weapon, so I'm not all that... I really like this idea of these negative flaws, by the way. Really cool. I'm not sure if they contain more rewards or exactly what the... Uh, the reason to go to them is, but I really like the choice, nonetheless, even if there isn't a specific reason. So, we just have to make sure that we have the weapon we want to keep equipped when we go down to the next floor. Holy hell. I really like this weapon. This weapon is very good. The Kraken weapons just seem very strong in general. We got Frost Flare Gun. Ooh, hello. We also got the Mini Incinerator. 
It should be called the Mincinerator. We got ourselves the Bouncer Plasma Rifle. Nice. We got ourselves an upgrade. God, why did the portal keep spawning on the upgrade? Also, this is a cursed weapon. Will it remove it? This is the question. Uh, Rhino Skin, definitely. Nope, it's a cursed weapon, so it didn't. But also, funnily enough, it didn't take us to the cursed crystal place. Hmm. Ooh, what's this? The spiral slash shotgun. Ooh, damn. Did, I think this, this might be one that we had before. The super yo-yo gun. Yeah, I, we had something similar to that before. Infuser. Seems to be like a blood crossbow. And then we've got the super yo-yo. Ah, so the yo-yo is kind of like a more safe disc gun by the looks of it. Like a multi-disc multi, multi -disc gun with a bit of safety. I think we're kind of locked into the weapons that we have right now, I'll be honest. Because we picked up a cursed weapon by accident. And it's not getting removed under seemingly any circumstances. But, honestly, as long as we get ammo for this thing, I don't think we'll ever need anything else. God, the more chest spawns is very nice. Eyes can't speak. That is true. Uh, the Ion Cannon, the Hyper, and the Auto Bullet Shotgun. Auto Bullet Shotgun. That seems pretty wicked. We know what the Hyper Rifle is. The Ion Cannon. Is that new? Oh. 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 It doesn't seem all that strong, but it's, it's fucking cool. <laughs> I'm still going to stick with my Kraken, though. The Kraken is too good. It just sucks everything in, it's great. We also got the Thunder Kraken. The Slug Cannon. Wow. Let's try the Thunder, uh, the, the, sorry, but yeah, Thunder Kraken out. I, I really just like the Kraken weapons in general. They're a very interesting, um, ver like, variety of weaponry. I really love these little icons we've got. It's, it makes it a lot clearer what's going on. You have to be careful because it's going to pull us in a bit. We got the Love Bomber, which seems a bit interesting. Um, let's bring let's bring the, bring the Thunder Kraken with us. Let's try and get rid of our. Um, I don't know. I, like, is there any way we can get rid of our curse weapon? Really, I don't even really think there is. Is there? We need to try it for another curse weapon. Spiral slash director shotgun. Oh, it's, it's the boy. I didn't realize he was about. Yeah, there you go. Dealt with. Absolutely dealt with. I like this crown for the just wide variety it's letting us see. Bounce a plasma rifle, which is pretty much the same as that. The Electra rifle. Ooh, this is very interesting. Auto splitter gun? We'll take the auto splitter gun. Why not? I'm trying to take as many things as I can here. There's a lot of different variety for the things that we can grab. So. Like I said, with these modded weapons, it's really nice with their uh, eagle eye to be able to see how good they, the game considers them. Or the developer should I say, consider this. We got the split blade gun. The laser bomber launcher. Seems pretty deadly. The explosion hammer, oh god. The mini plasma minigun. Wow, I mean this thing's gonna burn through ammo, but seems good. Gatling slugger, hell yes. I think I'm going to take the laser bomber. You little... You shithead. We're through. Uh, I think Strong Spirit's probably a pretty good one for us to grab right now. 
Modify weapon um, morph. Oh, we can add morph to a gun. Nice. Okay, let's add that to our curse weapon, maybe. The morph slugger. Oh, Lord. Also, this is a reverse version of this floor as well, which I was not prepared for. Look at those guys. They look awesome. Oh, God. These, these like, reversed enemies are so cool looking. That is a mighty, meaty amount of enemies here. I'm also 1 HP now. Damn it, I'm trying to grab the HP when I can, but it's it's tough. Splint a storm. Oh, I, I think I just killed myself. Whoopsie daisy. We'll play again. I don't know why it keeps taking me back to the menu, but oh well. All right, so let's go. That was a fun run. We got regular old shotgun here. I don't actually know how many new items and guns there are. Mainly guns, what I'm saying, but it seems like a lot. <laughs> like, I've, I've been playing with Death Pack 4.0, and that adds a lot, and this seems to be a similar amount. I might I might be wrong on that, but it's, it's, it's a lot. I'm seeing, like, new things every single run. Like, a lot of new things every single run, too. Blood Pistol. Good, good. I wonder if any of the new modded weapons can be uh, golden and starter weapons. That'd be really nice. Very much like the shotgun here. It's doing a good job. It seems to maybe even be a little better than I remember it. Let's take second stunner. I mean, I might be wrong on that, but there has been tweaks to vanilla things, so it's potentially stronger than normal. I think I'm wrong on that. I think I'm just misperceiving, misremembering how good it used to be, and it's just as good as it was. But goddamn, it feels great. Nice. Second stomach here is going to be very nice. Sledgehammer? I'll take a sledgehammer. I wonder why um, some of these early game enemies start with these purple weapons. Insomnia. Enemies don't attack you for a couple of seconds at the start of every area. That's actually a really good little pickup there, but I think I'm going to go with Gamma Guts. Um, that's actually uh, similar to a mutation that you can get in the Lots of Mutes pack, I think it is. Or metamorphosis. I wish I could use some of the mutation packs um, that I use my other mods with Ultra, but that, it's fine that I can't. There's just a lot of really cool mutes in there. And I, I feel like mutations in this game are like the, the sort of spice of the game. Like, obviously, weaponry is, is hugely important in having a, having a good time and having interesting runs, but Mutations also are a very, very big part of, of the build that you have and how you play your run. So having more of those available to you is always going to be a lot of fun. But saying that, it does seem like Ultramod do, does add a good few so far. I feel like I've seen at least four or five new ones and a few of them I will take literally every time. <laughs> like that one. It's not even like super overpowered or anything. It's just I love extra fire rate. Extra fire rate in any game is always fun. Any game where you can fire bullets, if there is any single way that you can fire more bullets, sign me up. Enter the gungeon, give me scatter bullets. Binding of Isaac, give me triple shot. Anything that's gonna make me fire more of what I'm firing, top tier. Max HP. This gun seems a little meh. I really like that it shows you where the last enemy is. That's a super, super good quality of life thing. One quality of life feature you could add from another mod that I've played is uh, one of the other mods that I used to play with made it so that after the portal appears, you get a movement speed boost. Um, so essentially... Ooh, unfortunate there. Okay, so we do R to restart, I see. Um, yeah, so it's essentially once, once all the enemies are cleared, you can move at like double speed. It was really nice. I really liked it. So adding something similar to that would be, would be pretty awesome. Screwdriver again. Nice. We've got, um... Oh, I was like, what the hell's that skull? And then I realised it's just the enemy that's left over here. I thought it was part of our UI for a second there. I will go through here as well. Uh, I'll get Strong Spirit early this time. It'll help us out. I really like the fact that the numbers are upside down on the loading screen too. Right, use the screwdriver. Right, this time, people, what are we going to do? We're going to remember not to destroy the hecking car. We're going to remember not to destroy the car. Okay, nice. 
we got ourselves a lovely bit of lightning damage on this. Oh god, I'm getting hit a lot. A lot and a lot, oh my god. I need to chill out. Good job, the screwdriver is very good for small enemies. Yeah, you need to stop what you're doing, sir. You got me? Heck, you'll also learn from watching my series here. I'm not very good at this game, despite the amount of hours I have in it. I play incredibly risky all the time. And I'm also not particularly the sort of person that that strives to loop every single run. I'm kind of okay with just getting a win and then dying on loop one. I don't need to get to like loop six or whatever. I think the highest loop I've ever been to is four. Um, and that was on a run where I was invincible. <laughs> I mean, literally. I don't. I don't. It, I don't mean I had an overpowered run. I triggered a bug that literally made me invincible. I think normally three is my highest. But after that point, it just gets to the point where you should, the entire screen is just full all the time and you can't really do anything. It's pretty f entertaining to see people that are genuinely um, talented at, uh, at doing high high loop runs, like loop 10 plus whatever. But um, not for me, really. But I will say one thing that does make it more entertaining is the mods that I used to use and presumably ultra mod adds a lot more end game weapons that are plausible for doing looping rather than just the standard ultra shovel super plasma cannon setups that you, that you normally see on those runs because if, essentially you you can't get to high loops without those setups in vanilla you have to have them um and trigger things as well another mute that is a hard requirement um so it's nice to see mods kind of diversify and add other like uber powerful weapons that aid you in those loop, uh, sort of looping things situations it's fun bouncer revolvers back again i really like this double uh machine gun too i'm, I'm just liking the, the the general variety in these like double weapons and stuff there's it's a lot of like simple tweaks and takes on base game vanilla items there's, there's a few definitely outrageously crazy new guns, but there's also a lot that are very simple, very basic, very, like, they, they very much feel like they belong, which is always something I love. I think one thing I, I very, um, very much always strive for when playing mods is a vanilla plus experience, and a, an enhanced vanilla experience, and I feel like, oh my god, this is cool. Uh, I feel like they've kind of hit the nail on the head here um with ultra mod like nothing uh, someone actually commented it and i think on the first episode i did nothing really feels like it couldn't have been made by the developers there is some crazy shit in this mod albeit there really is but none of it feels truly out of place uh every weapon has one random oh yes i love the random mod thing it's really good is this thing overpowered this thing seems overpowered <laughs> It literally insta-kills any enemy. I like that. <laughs> it also creates an absolute sheepy army. Like, look at this. Look at this. <laughs> this is incredible. Also, the eraser. Uh, I don't know what bullet mod we got on the eraser here. Do I have to kill all the sheep? Ple Please don't tell me I have to kill all the sheep. Okay, thank goodness. That would have been tedious as all hell. <laughs> Oh, I'm loving this. We can create an absolute sheep army. Just, like, get in there and do a spiral. Move on down the path. <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> Doom rifle? Okay, so the Doom weapon seems to have incredibly aggressive homing on its explosives. Oh, wait! It fires out little dudes! I thought they, I thought they were just bombs. They're just, the little fellas. That's awesome. <laughs> little dudes. Mega laser pistol. Oh my lord. Hell yes. <laughs> um, I think second stomach is a good grab right now. <laughs> v. 
this is so fun. I wonder if it takes longer for higher HP enemies to, to cheapify. Yeah, it seems like it. It seems like you've got to concentrate the beam for longer. But still, it's not that long. <laughs> it, it's very ammo efficient as well. We've managed to clear out essentially this entire floor on 25 ammo. Ooh, explosive bow. Now, I'm very intrigued by the explosive bow for one main reason. Because there is an explosive bow in one of the other mods I use. And I want to see how it differs in functionality. Okay, it's very different. It's it's very much just like a um, normal bow. Whereas the other one's more of like a, a charge up bow. Oh, 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 I see a bullet modifier appears here now. We've got Swarm on this one. It used to appear on the gun. I think they've changed it in this update. So now it fires out a splinter on us getting a kill. Drop that car, sir. There'll be none of those shenanigans here. I really want to see if I can just turn Little Hunter into a sheep. That would be genuinely hilarious. I'm liking this one as a brother. It seems good. I keep missing this dude. Plasma shotgun. I'll take that too. I I'm just switching weapon to new ones whenever I see them. Some of them might even be just vanilla guns that I've forgotten were vanilla. <laughs> this is not very possible. I've played with so many modded guns now that I actually don't see vanilla weapons all that often. Let's try another new crown here, shall we? Um, the difficulty on weapon tier increases more each area. Die and be reborn. Higher chance for inverted portals. Higher drop rates, no rads. More cursed chests. Uh, remove your secondary weapon. Okay, an extra van spawns. Um, every area is dark. Enemies can hit each other. Let's try out Crown of Difficulty, shall we? Higher difficulty scaling. But also, weapon scaling is going to be increased too. I like the idea of that. Oh god, this is good. Wait, what, what am I in, what, what exactly am I being hit by right now? I got hit like a bunch of times there. He's here! I'm probably going to die to him. Wait, what? Did he, oh, I thought he died straight away then. He did! Oh my lord! He didn't turn into a sheep, but he did die in, like incredibly quickly. <laughs> I like the way it turned that thing into a sheep. Because technically, once it's dead, it dies and then it leaves over the body that explodes. But the way that it works in-game makes it so that it creates the sheep, leaves the explosive body, and the explosive body blows up and kills the sheep that was made. Ooh, unfortunate death there. I don't know if the difficulty um, increased the amount of damage I was taking there, but that was a, a rather speedy death. Now, normally I like to keep my episodes to around 30 minutes when you go through them, but honestly, Ultramod has me in such a good mood. And such an excited mood for the game that I'm I'm gonna play on a little bit. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep the episode going and keep it a little longer because I genuinely um it, it's it's like it's like playing the game for the first time all over again. It's 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 genuinely fantastic. It's rare that a mod does this, but goddamn, this is a good one. Um I think we're gonna bloodlust. Okay. I actually, earlier today, recorded um, a Binding of Isaac episode that you'll be able to see on my channel right now. It should already be out. Where I played as a car. Literally, someone made an April Fool's joke character where you literally play as a car. It's incredible. It's so dumb. It's beautiful. It's it's one of the best things I've ever seen. Uh, assault Rifle? I'm sorry. Vanilla weapons in my modded game? Not picking you up. Thank you very much. What do I look like? Some kind of scrub? Vanilla weapons. I laugh at your vanilla weaponry. I I genuinely, absolutely love these new icons. They are so, so beautiful. Like, I guarantee in like a few weeks time, I'll forget they, they weren't vanilla. I'll forget they were ever not in the game. Because they are so like, fitting and, and, and like beautifully designed. They look really good. I am probably gonna die here. Oh no, I got him, I got him. Kraken pistol, let's go. Don't 
Gotta be careful. These guys can shoot through walls. Charge shotgun. Oh, it's this thing. I remember this thing. This thing's cool. Hey. You can fire, like, a certain amount of pellets based on the charge that we get going on. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Let's go with Insomnia this time around. Revolver and Wrench. I wonder how long they stay asleep for. We definitely need another weapon here because we are struggling for ammo. They stay asleep for a very considerable amount of time. Okay, we are uh, we are officially out. Oh, that's 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 saucy. That is quite saucy. I don't know if it's actually. It, it seems to be that it is creating a real explosion because it's destroying wall tiles, which I don't think you can do without an actual explosion. But I was just wondering, can I hurt myself with this? And I'm I'm fairly sure, based on that, I think I can. <laughs> so let's be careful. Um, go with Rhino Skin here. Rhino Skin's great because it actually heals you. Ha ha! I see you sleeping there, Mimic Chest. You can't trick me that easily. That's good. But yes, incredibly high praise to this mod and seemingly this update too. This update is a... Uh, is looking very nice so far. Like I said, I don't know the exact specifics of what's been added or changed. Please ask the developer for that. But, seems good. Also, it seems incredibly stable. Incredibly stable. Auto Toxic, though. Considering Toxic is actually a hell of a lot better now because it just disperses quicker, I think Toxic could actually be something that we genuinely use, which is something that I never thought I'd hear myself see, uh, saying. Because Toxic's real strong. Toxic does a lot of damage. It's just super dangerous. In the base game, it's it's near unusable if you're not playing as Frog. The chain reaction. But this is uh, delightful. It's not spreading out as much. It's dispersing in it more evenly. It's dispersing, oh, it's not, not dispersing, disappearing a little more quickly. It's, it's, it's all round. Um, just huge improvement and it just visually it kind of looks a bit better too i think it's i think it visually just looks better because it's disappearing quicker because i feel like it lingered a little long and it made the sprites a bit too small on the swirls and it it just kind of looks weird but like look at that i can pass straight through the poison was fired less than a second ago and i can pass straight through it's like what the hell is this also this being an auto makes it pretty strong got him It's like I, I'm, I'm, I'm able to see when I'm being healed by um, Bloodlust as well because of these new icons. Like that's something before that you never really actively noticed. Okay, last enemy over there. I love this last enemy feature. It's so good. <laughs> like that look, I, I, got, I got to see that that Bloodlust triggered. Um, first that you take an area. Oh, that's really nice. We'll take that. Laser minigun. That's a base game thing, that, right? If I can around corners here. But just look at that. I could just... I walked right into that poison, and by the time I even reached it, it had gone. It's... Oh. It makes me smile very heavily. Really? You managed to get past me there? Okay. Doing alright. I am most certainly doing alright. I just... I, honestly, I can't... I can't put into words how happy I am that poison weapons are not just the biggest pile of dog shit anymore like they're genuinely usable it, it's it's kind of hard to fathom <laughs> i think we even got another another uh, toxic weapon here didn't we there was something green i think it was the uh toxic launcher sticky launcher that, that's it 
Unfortunately, not poison, but it is the same colour. It did hit me, unfortunately, but it's okay. Nice, we opened the throw, and it's, it's okay. And we're not going to take a crown this time around, though, I don't think. I don't think there's really too much reason to do so on this run. None. A bear head is a fair head. If that's what it said. I think that's what it said. That's what I'm saying. Right, I think we've got a little hunt at this floor, right? So let's uh, sort of... Honestly, if we do have a little hunt, we should probably stay right here. Although, seemingly, it's maybe... Oh, okay, no, it is. It is. Where is he? Okay, there he is. There he is. Wait, is he asleep? It said he was asleep for a second there. No, he's not. He's not. I don't know. Is, is the... I might be completely incorrect here, but is the tweet still a little hunt, or he seems not as awful? He still seems bad, but he seems not quite as awful as I remember him being. Okay, you got stuck twice there, dude. <laughs> not much surviving that, is there? Because I, I am not getting pummeled by Little Hunter as much as before. Anyone that hasn't watched my series prior to Ultramod, by the way, I despise Little Hunter with a passion. I realise a lot of the community does, but I mean, I genuinely think he's one of the worst designed bosses in gaming history. I, I, I genuinely think he is terribly, terribly, terribly designed. I think there's a lot wrong with him. I think a lot could, could and needs to change. <laughs> so it's nice to see him being not as big of a pain. I think it. I think a lot of this is probably just placebo of me being... Uh... Wait. One second. I gotta test something here. Let, let me let me kill everything first. Does poison not hurt you anymore? Oh no, it still does. It just it doesn't seem to hurt you as quickly. Maybe I think you've got like a a few frames of leeway. Maybe I really shouldn't be using a sticky launcher on enemies that run directly at you. But at the minute, I I quite literally have no choice. A lightning SMG. Let's go for it. I still want this, actually. I'm happy with this. Lightning SMG seems good. Seems very good. Oh, hello. I always forget this, this is a new boss. Good old big machine. Is he taking damage? Okay, he is now. Okay, we got him, we got him. Another boss that's just very cool. Another addition that just feels very vanilla. I think this is the, the, the sort of first floor where things start to feel not so vanilla. But at the same time, they don't feel out of... It doesn't feel out of the realms of possibility that the game would have a floor like this. The game has base game enemies that look like they could belong on this floor. Like this guy, for example. He's a base game enemy and he looks perfectly fitting. Same with the salamander. This is... There's a lot of uh, enemies and things in the game that, that very much look like they could fit here. Is that guy holding two guns? That scares me. What in the life is the what? <laughs> Splinter Storm? Oh my. Oh god. With Alt Marrow. This seems like it could be a bit of alright. This is a cursed weapon, remember. Morph Hammer, no, we won't take that. Okay, it's the purple dragon. He's gonna die in like three hits, right? Maybe four. Maybe five. He is surviving a lot longer than I thought he would. Maybe this thing's just a lot weaker than I thought it was. Okay, still got him. That was very easy. Tried him. Oh, and we're, uh, we're into the morph palace. I like this. The guys are like playing cards. It's so cool. God, you see what I mean? Poison just carries. As an effect, it's just great. Splinter Seeker Crossbow. I've got uh, Bolt Marrow, so hell yes. Oh, wait, no, I dropped my Poison Boy. Heck. 
It's okay, it's okay. I'm reasonably okay with it. I'm really liking the storm that this thing brings on. Ooh, another reverse floor. Oh, this looks cool. Oh, it's Cheshire Cat. Get him. I don't even know if I'm hitting anything with this, but I'm trying my best. We got him. Infinite level, slower level loading, game mode unlocked. Ooh, interesting. Bullet Disperse Machine Gun. That's fucking cool. Um, we'll go with trigger fingers here. So cool, super eraser. Also seems like a, a very good grab for us here. Lightning hammer. Seems to use quite a lot of ammo though. Ammo has just been somewhat of a problem for us anyways. This guy a boss? No. We just had like a, a little aura around him. The fat machine gun. Nice. It's like a heavy revolver. Big and fat. Don't call me big and fat. That's rude. Now, I don't really know if we have what it takes to beat Throne here, because from my experience so far, Throne has been significantly harder than normal. Which is a good thing. Throne was kind of a pushover. Uh, but yeah, it's it's a little scary. <laughs> I don't know if we'll be able to get him with the ammo we have with the ammo and weaponry we have. We don't have particularly amazing weaponry. Oh, he's asleep. <laughs> Like the fire rate is just kind of like okay. Let's let's use our, our pulling effect to push push certain shots away from us. Yeah, there's, there's, there goes our ammo. Okay, this seems decent. Yeah. Okay, that that is a very strong weapon. That that killed him way faster than I've ever killed him before. And we go straight into loop now instead. Um, I think I'm gonna go with Eagle Eyes here. That maggot is asleep yet it moves. Okay, we definitely need better weaponry. We are burning through ammo very quickly right now. The Muchus Lasers. Oh my lord. Okay, that thing uses a lot of ammo. Golden Wrench? Oh hell yes. That's incredible. Genuinely incredible. Okay. So that uses quite a lot of ammo, but it seems pretty good. <laughs> it covers the entire screen in a grid of lasers. I know you're going to try melee me, but I've got melee also. I need ammo, people. Give me the ammo that I need. Why, why aren't I getting any... There you go. <laughs> it doesn't do all that much damage, but goddamn. Covers the whole screen, and I like that. We also reached Ultra. Our two new Ultras, so the, the normal ones is whole projectile, stronger push. Uh, when not using it to push enemies away. Some enemies attack other enemies. Throne but increases brainwash chance. Active ability attracts item drops, rads, and weapons through walls. Increased attraction speed. That sounds awesome. Pop disperse gun. I'll take that. Yeah, that's cool. The grid thing's awesome, but it's very, very difficult to actually use. Uh, oh, we got some bullet mods here. Splinter and projectile speed. Let's go with splinter. Nice. What's over here? Oh, this is the little challenge things you can do. Last time we did this, we died. So I'm going to refrain for now. But I'll come back to those at some point. Right. Look at this thing. Absolute bullet storm.
I love that indicator as well for where the uh, where the truck's coming out. Very nice quality of life updates here. Yeah. More weaponry, please. Ultra shotgun. Good weapon. Golden shotgun, yes please. I like golden shotgun way more than golden uh, wrench. I know golden wrench is good, but this is more my style. Ultra flamethrower. Oh, gold, no, golden jawbreaker sounds amazing. We've got a lot of choice. Oh, from... Whoa! You can start on the loop. Ultra flamethrower. Super heavy crossbow. Hyper slugger. Ultra shotgun. I, I like the flamethrower here. Seems pretty interesting. Whoa. There is some really cool shit in this mod. Look at this. Oh, it's cursed. I picked up a cursed weapon. I didn't mean to. I did not mean to. Oh, it's mom. I forgot she was here. Did I just one shot her? The fuck? I did not mean to pick up a cursed version of this. Oh, God. I've got no ammo. Save me, Jeebus. Ultra Infuser. Seems good. One last guy. Oh lord, this is uh this has been crazy. <laughs> This seems good. Big Assassin. Who the hell is that? I love the way that all the, uh, all the bosses are just big. <laughs> oh god, he's moving around and everything. The music's insane. It's really intense. Assassin, go away. There's a lot of assassins on screen right now. I, I can't be dealing with them. I need better weaponry, like, right now. Is he dead? Maybe. I can barely see. Got diggity down. What? <laughs> Apparently I entered here. Don't know when, don't know how, I'll accept it. Um, reload speed and radiation. I don't know what this is going to do, but it seems like it could be pretty crazy. My goodness, this is crazy. Right, one moment. Let us continue. Let us continue. Right, how, how does the radiation part of that work? Seemingly it doesn't. I love that weapon. <laughs> the screen shake. Oh, it's redonkulous. Redonkulous. Ah, I need better weaponry, like, really badly. Ah, there you go. We're, we're out. That was a very fun run, though. We hit a thousand kills as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Absolutely fantastic. And I'll see you guys in the next one.